start the revolution, all they probably do is squeal, but chill. Jabs and Apple Two Apple and Black Power Fam. What up? It's your brother in Google. Now you see R E N M, and once again, you tuned in to R E N M, R B G T V. That's right. And you know we keep a G. Raw and uncut common sense for the common people dealing with the common issues, and of course, you already know, family. We are trying to seek some common solutions. So all in together now, family, nice, loud, and proud. Say it like you mean it, man. What's the method? What's the model? The mantra, the motivation, method, and the madness, family. It's black love. You know why? Because black love is a kill for the black nation. So let's get it. Um, Sunday, what up? Start of a new week. Let's start it right. Let's think smart. Bang out accordingly, like we always do, like we're supposed to do, et cetera, et cetera, on and on. Um, little quick little uh, disclaimer, or whatever. If you hear a little noise in the background, forgive or whatever. My six, uh, my wife is kind of sick right now, so if you hear a little cough or whatever, it is what it is. Nonetheless, she rides shotgun with me all day, every day, like she always do. So now let's move on to the reason why we are here, which is we are doing a follow-up discussion, if you will. To last week's episode, which was dealing with the free speech, the title of last week was the addiction to the feel, uh, the feel good speech, and we're gonna um that was pretty much a, a a short, quick little overall, basically stating the fact that we need to upgrade our thinking to upgrade our walks, done and next, and that was that one. So if you missed uh, last week, by all means, go back into the channel, check it out for yourself. Again, it is titled the addiction to the free speech. I mean, uh, the addiction to the feel good speech. Pardon me. And this week, this Sunday, we are going to go further with it, if you will, the, you know, a more extensive breakdown. Nothing too drastic, but nonetheless, we're gonna this is a little follow up. I haven't figured out what I'm gonna call it as far as the title, but when it goes up, you'll see what it is. But just know that this is a follow up again to the addictions to the feel good speech. All right. So when we look at a lot of our different organizations. That, you know, that's out here right now, that's on the map, whether they're quote-unquote outspoken with their agenda as far as uh, uh, black liberation is concerned, or unless they're just there doing their own thing and they've been doing it for a long time, quote-unquote, some religious organizations. Now, with that being said, let's take a look at some of the uh, feel-good speech, some of the romanticism speech that we use with these different schools of thought. For example... 
I'm going to start right where I am, if you will, with the black nationalists, right? Here's some things that black nationalists love to say and romanticize, but really get to us nowhere. The whole white man is a devil. If you all know where that came from, good kudos to that, but nonetheless, it has spilled over into the black nationalist's realm. This is one of the things that keeps us in suspension mentally, like I've said before in the last episode. We stay mentally stagnated, we're mentally suspended in time, if you will, because these are languages and phrases from a past tense, right? Past stance, if you will, that needs to be evolved. Now, what I mean by that is this. When you look at certain words, case in point, the word devil, you have mystified, nonetheless, uh, uh, this character, this player on the game, and he's pretty much taking yourself out of it. Now, here's the thing that also, uh, that's a romanticized thing that we love to say as black nationalists, right? We love to say, for example, black power. Everybody loves to throw that chain up, fist and the whole nine, black suit and the whole nine, romanticism, right? But again, if there's no real working, real progress being taken place to uh, uh, fit that speech, you're wasting your time. It's feel good. It sounds good. Black power. Ooh, that makes you feel good inside. It gives you a false sense of pride, if you will. Because at the end of the day, pride means you're working to uh, to sustain an image. You're working to sustain a nation. You're working to sustain a people. Yourself. Right? That's what real black power and motion really is. It has nothing to do with words. It has nothing to do with an outfit that you wear. All that shit is romanticized. All that stuff is, is over the top. And it gets us nowhere. It puts on a false image, a false representation, thus a false movement. Let's move on forward. There's many other things I can go on, but I'm just giving you a little, you know, little bits and pieces. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Our Christian uh, churches and stuff, our black Christian churches, right? A lot of things that we love to say in the churches that romanticize, that keeps us mentally stagnated, and once again, takes ourselves out of the equation, Right? Removes the accountability, removes the responsibility, removes yourself completely and turns it on to something else. Case in point, when it gets too hard, turn it over to Jesus, right? Uh, uh, um, again, that takes you out of the equation. This battle is not yours, it's the Lord's. Again, that takes you out of the equation. These are things that we say and we've been saying for generations. Family, you know this to be true. You grew up with the shit just as much as I did. This battle is not yours, it's the Lord's. Turn it over to so-and-so and everything is all sweet and by and by. You know the language, family. These are romanticized words, again, that keeps us mentally stagnated. And if you know my three-step equation, which you should know by heart by now, family, so say it along with me. That which you think, you speak. That which you speak, you walk, nonetheless. So again, if we constantly saying these things in, the, in our churches, this battle is not yours, it's the Lord's, turn it over, etc., 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 etc. Again, like I said a second ago, and I'm going to say it again. You have removed yourself away from the equation. You are totally out of the fight. Therefore, you just said and shown and proved to the world, thus yourself, that you are not strong enough to handle that situation that you are in. If you notice, the biggest word that I kept saying a lot in that sentence was you. That is the key player. That is the key ingredient to that entire situation. You, us, we. If we take ourselves to remove that, then what do we have? Everything else on the outside combating us with no fight, no resistance being put up. That's what you have. These are romanticized words that, again, that keep us mentally suspended. Um, let's take it over to, to, to the mobs. Let's take it to the Muslims, right? Now, this is one that you hear often in the mosque. I know for, exact, for a fact because, again, I was there. So with that being said, you have things like, oh, whatever happens in life, good or bad, alhamdulillah, mashallah, it is what it is, it's the way God willed it. Mashallah, that's the way God willed it. Again, these are romanticized things. It makes it may sound good, it may give you a quote-unquote little euphoric uh, uh, sensation real quick, but nonetheless, and again, it's a false reality. You're taking yourself out of the fight. You basically just said, anything that happens to me, good. Okay, you'll accept that. No problem. Most people will. Anything bad that comes to your, uh, uh, come your way. Again, no fight, no uh, form of resistance being put up to combat that stance being posed against you. You accept it. You embrace it. Alhamdulillah. You understand? All praises to Allah. Mashallah. So, so, so God willed it. Wrong family. Wrong family. Again, do we not have the ability to think? Again, certain things that we say, yeah, it gives you a false sense of euphoria, a false sense of, of emotionalism boost, if you will. But again, it takes your ass out to fight every time. 
every time. So we need to update these tactics. We need to update our language, nonetheless, every day. We need to update the way we think, just like how I said last week's episode. That if you don't, you will stay in the past. And if you stay in the past, that which is going on in the present, that is taking uh, place against you, against us in the present, will only continue on in the future. Because again, mentally, you're in the past. Again, the past is very vital. It's, it, use it for what it is. Use it to study the ins, the outs, the goods, the bads, the ups and downs. You take the good, you apply it. Take it out, all right, boom, we can use this. We can use that. Let's put that to the side, add it together like Voltron and bang this shit out. That which is uh, held is stagnant, that is which is held is back nonetheless. Reset the clock back another 500 years, if you will. Let's push that to the side. And we got a lot of stuff we can push to the side, but again, we won't do it. We choose not to do it because of pride, because of egotism, because of emotions, false beliefs, if you will. All this stuff has to be removed, family. Again, if you do not do it, you basically you walk around with a veil over your third eye. Forget these two. You got a veil over the third eye. And you already know. If you open that third eye, you can see clear as day. If you open your third ear, you can hear clear as day. The choice is yours. Um, Again... No matter what school of thought you were in, family, you all you got to do is just sit back, really observe. Don't get caught up in the romance, the feel good. That is what stops us, family. You understand? The feel good shit. You were hooked on it. We're hooked on it like crack addicts, man. Because again, it makes you feel good. It's a high. Right now, you're high off romance. This is why we have yet to uh, really get down to the nitty gritty because people are afraid to really roll their sleeves up, metaphorically speaking, and get dirty in this shit. This shit requires you to get dirty, family. Moving forward it requires you to get dirty, family. You understand? You got to get in the grime. You got to start putting in work. You got to start thinking smart. Again, what you think, you speak. What you speak, you walk. What you walk, nonetheless, you're going to pass on amongst everybody around you. So why not update your thinking? Why not update your tactics? Why not remove the feel good? At least put it to the back burner. Y'all got it on the forefront. We got it on the forefront. We got the feel good and the romanticized speech on the forefront. And that right there is like 90% of everybody's fight. Thus, the fight takes it to us. Thus, we continue to lose. It's about time you put your game face on, family. Put your poker face on. Because right now, you're walking around looking like a target. Because you're smiling and beguiling, as like some folks like to say. You understand? Put your game face on. Update your thinking, update your speech, update your walk, bang out accordingly. It's not that hard. No matter what organization you are in, religious, whether it's a nationalist, activist uh, organization, economics, money folks, think in the now to ready for tomorrow. Get out of the past, man. That's the overall message, family. Get out of the past. The past is in the past. Study for what it was. See what you can apply today, that what you cannot apply today, move it off the table, keep going forward, family. Overall message. Questions, comments, concerns? You already know what to do. Comment box. Leave your feedback. Let's talk. I really need fe- uh, family to really think about this, man. It's very important, man. It's very important. It's very important. Get away from this addiction. If you're going to be addicted to anything, be addicted to real progress. How about that? Be addicted to real progress, real moves, real movements. Feel good don't mean shit. This is why we get laughed at. The rest of the world feels good in their achievements. We feel good in talking. Let that marinate. But in the meantime, between time, keep it locked, keep it G, family. You already know this is R&M, all BG TV. I'll be your brother in Google, now you see R&M. Thank you for walking with me the way I walk with you, family. You know how we do. Always remember, family, thinking ain't illegal, man. Living black ain't wrong. All in together now. Black love is a cure for the black nation, so let's get it. Uncle Jefferson, Apple, two up on black power, family. Always remember, once again, I can't say it enough, that black love is a cure for the black nation, so let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it.